us do some spring cleaning. I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the back of my videos the past couple days, there's been a heap of things over here and it's time we address it. We have a bunch of wheels and tires that have been sitting here from a bunch of different builds. We have body parts. We have some exhausts. We have some other exhausts. We have some more exhausts. And we even have more exhausts. But in all seriousness, there is so much stuff accumulating inside the shop that I'm ready to kind of start parting out. And I'm addressing an issue that I've been avoiding, and that's going through some of it and listing it for sale. I have a problem of hoarding things, and today we're gonna put a stop to that. And there's a bunch of stuff in here that I'm sure a bunch of you guys watching this video right now might need, or you might be looking for and you haven't been able to find it. And I'm gonna sell it all. So amongst this great wall, all of parts and things. Dylan has been kind of going through it the last day or two. Actually, over the past week, piece by piece, pulling stuff out. We have a bunch of stock RX-7 parts, a bunch of stock Mark IV parts. We have a bunch of Beer Z parts. We have a bunch of wheels. We have a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. We have fueling parts. We have a bunch of stuff, and we're gonna rip through it all today. There's also and we're some gonna... like wheels, turbo stuff, lines, interior stuff, factory things, knickknacks. Yeah, I can't come up with anything else. <laughs> I just ate a burrito, my brain's dead. And one of the biggest things influencing this whole entire spring cleaning, well, I guess technically it's winter cleaning, is something that I haven't talked to you guys about in quite a while, is we are actually gonna be moving shop locations at the end of the month. And this door behind us is gonna be our new garage door. It's gonna be a very cool facility, but it's technically just a temporary home. And if you've been a viewer of this channel for the last couple years, you're probably like, Teej, aren't you building a shop at your house? Where's the update? Where, where has that been? I don't understand. Why would you get a temp? Well, the economy and the market right now sucks. And building a home in this exact time frame is not ideal. So a lot of the construction that we've been doing, there has been progress. A lot of it's been very slow and I've been very particular about what bids and stuff that we take because I'm trying to keep the cost down because just for an example, with where the market is, we were gonna be spending a couple extra hundred thousand dollars just to build it in this exact time because how expensive material and labor is. So we're gonna buy ourselves a little more time and we're gonna move into that facility right over there in the meantime. So let's start pulling some of the stuff out and let's list it for sale and let's get rid of it. Everything that you see today, I'm gonna be pulling out and itemizing it. I'm gonna highlight a few different things throughout this video that I'm gonna showcase for sale in this video. If you're interested, you can DM Dylan on Instagram and he'll be the one filtering out the DMs if you guys are interested. Most of the stuff is pickup only in the Southern California area. If one of you is that desperate and you really want something, you can talk to Dylan about shipping it, but that's not up to me. A lot of stuff is also gonna be for sale that I'm reposting throughout my Instagram, but like I said, the coolest stuff, the TE37s, the cool parts, the turbos, all that stuff, we're gonna highlight in the video that most of you guys will probably want if you're looking for it, just to make it easy. Let's start pulling stuff out and see what kind of junk we got. The bidding starts at $100 for this. Actually, fun fact, we used some of this harness to patch my Ferrari 458 harness that we rebuilt like three years ago. But, it, but yes, it is trash, I was joking. Let me see, it's my fault. This is actually worthless. Do you know what this is? This is actually the most worthless thing I've ever seen in my life. You know what that is? Uh, Mazda RX-7 FD That's the pop-up headlight for an RX-7. Why is that worthless? Oh, it's garbage, you don't know? I love pop-ups. No, wrong. You like sleek lights. Say it again. Say it again. Come back here. Yeah, trash. That's it. Hey, you come back here. <laughs> On a real note though, this is actually cool because shout out to Mickey. Shout out to Mickey. Mickey is the reason why I actually still have all this stuff. And years ago when Mickey built the RX-7. He did a lot of work on the car. If you haven't seen those videos, go check it out. He was like, trust me, TJ, you're gonna wanna keep these. They are valuable. And if you ever want to put the pop-ups back in, if you have the stock motor, which is like hard to find, he's like, you're gonna, you're gonna thank yourself. So I don't know, I'll probably sell it, but I have it. It's for sale. Shout out to Mickey, because if it wasn't for him, we right. wouldn't have those today. And at the time I was like, Mickey, why am I keeping this garbage? He was like, TJ, trust me. Keep it. So this is all stock RX-7 pieces, like a weird cross brace, coolant hoses. Probably don't need to keep any of this sh door, door stuff. Trailer. I don't know. Like this is like kind of valuable to the right person. What do you, what do you call that? The film neck? Yeah. I don't know. Like look, this is so good. It still works. I wonder if I need it on the bell side. Yo, this next box, I'm really excited because I literally remember keeping everything. If anyone here is looking for any stock Mark IV Super Parts, I promise you, I have it. This is a whole entire turbo setup and pretty much every piece from the engine bay of a Mark IV Supra is literally in this box. 
<laughs> so we're gonna start laying this stuff out. I'm kind of excited to go through all this. Like, I kept everything. All right, I'm gonna do a quick little overview of what's on the floor. And pretty much, if you see anything that you want, RX-7 owners, Mark IV owners, there is stuff in here that you want if you have a stock setup or remotely stock. And you can DM Dylan, Helm of Terror. It's on Instagram. He can literally, you can go back and forth with him. If you see anything in this clip you like, I feel like that's gonna be one of the best ways for you guys to just kind of like pick apart something and be like, hey, I need that piece. A lot of it's dusty and it hasn't been cleaned yet, but we're gonna start with Mark IV pieces. Stock airbox, intercooler, turbos, coolant hoses, intake hoses, a bunch of stuff all kept in that box on the day that we took it off. Even hardware. some aftermarket stuff, we have hardware, brackets, brackets literally any. Also a complete stock exhaust for a Mark IV. I had the intention of keeping this and I was actually gonna take it, I never told you this, I was gonna take it to like a polish shop or I, I had like the intention of like polishing it and making it look pristine and hanging it on my wall. That's called a pipe dream. Well, I was gonna do it and then I never did. So it's here. Polish the whole thing? Yeah, like imagine if it was like chrome. That'd be kind of cool, I guess. It would be. Except for the shield. I'm like 50-50. I'm, I'm with you on it. it you, you'd see it on the wall and you'd be like, Whoa. I'd be like, damn, like, what, what is what, that? And I'd be what like, what 90s oh. car is that from? Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we have Mazda RX-7 FD. A bunch of speakers. Not as much, but definitely some interior pieces. Like the rear taillight covers on top. Not as much. <laughs> Dude, question mark zone. Like, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't know what Look, that is. Look, if you see it and you know what it is, you're like, oh, I needed that. Well, it's there. Hit me up. Yeah. Headlights, motors, no covers, door covers, with switches, pull handles. We have an OEM blade from a Mazda Speed Wing. It's the one off of my car. I just don't use this deck with anymore. This is a little damaged, but it's uh, came off of my white RX-7. I, I have two white RX-7s, or I used to. This came off of the veil side before it was the veil side. It's like a taillight cover. It comes with the third brake housing. Some people like this stuff. Looks cool. It's also like a little duck bill. I also forgot that on the Mark IV Supra, I have the OEM mirrors, and I also have the OEM taillights. One of them is cracked in the middle, but... So good. These are the OEM taillights. And then we also have stuff from the stock motor, uh, shims. Uh, what else is in there? Just all the hardware. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. It's, it's literally like it, if you had a 2J and you took everything off of it and then upgraded the turbo setup, it'll all be right here. Someone's going to be stoked when they see all this stuff and be like, that is what I need. I think they touch each other when I'm not around. I found something hidden deep in the depths of the cave over there that I'm really personally excited about. That I've been looking for for weeks. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? You found brake parts cleaner. Yeah, but where is it? Right here. What? It's right here. There's a box right there? Yeah. I feel, oh man, I feel like a total dipshit. Yeah. A whole box. Uh, and, oh, Anthony, oh, Anthony, oh, there it is. Anthony, go ahead and delete all of just the past Hell, that, three minutes of footage. Oh, I called Alvin. I'm like, please send me another pallet of it. So we'll have one coming anyway. Dude, I felt like Indiana Jones. I was felt like two boxes. I like pushed some oil boxes and it was ding, 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 and I was like, what? Well, now we have more. Dude, there's like, now there's 30. I was gonna be like, yeah, only put a few out so there's supply and demand, but here, take this from me. I don't want any more. Okay. It's escalated quite quickly. I'm gonna show you everything we have behind us. From the last clip, it's, it's gotten pretty, it's gotten pretty out of hand. There is a lot of stuff that I haven't even realized that I've accumulated over the years. You know what would be really cool, Dylan, but uh, would probably not be a good idea? Because imagine if we hosted like a in, an, in, an in person garage sale. Sound it's like just a such idea. a bad idea. Yeah, come right now. The video comes up tomorrow. <laughs> it's just such a bad idea. But we have things from Calvin and I's original bag setup for both of our BRZs, Mark V Super Brakes. We have 400Z down pipes. We have. M3 parts, we have old turbos that I've ran, headlights from the R8, Street Hunter, like just literally a million different things. Even a brand new in-box 350Z big brake kit. I know one of you out there is looking for a great deal on our brand new box. Look at this thing. This was supposed to go on my comp card and just never did. So, so much stuff. I'm very overwhelmed. <laughs> You're overwhelmed. This is a prototype. There's no badging on it, but it is real. This is a Street Hunter C8 deck lid. I was gonna put it on my car, never did. It's been sitting. Now it's dusty. So if you have a C8 and you're trying to get into a, a rear duck bill for cheap, here you go. This is an R8. Front lip came off our crashed one. Kind of damaged, but probably could be saved. I don't know. Maybe? Yeah. It's for the cheap. It's a fluid cooler, turbo question mark. Ask me, I'll put badging on there. Factory what? Toyota Bills team. This is probably Mark IV. Okay, Mark IV, front and back. 400Z downpipes. E90 M3 calipers front and rear, Mark V Supra calipers, Scion FRS bags, works for only Two Gen ones, black interior for an FDRX7 rear interior panels. That stuff is gold. Make I you know. Say JDM specific. Yeah. Uh, mm, 
Because of the speakers? I don't know. I don't know. He said it, not me. Maybe. I think I, I don't know. I might have purchased them. I don't remember if it's from mine or that. Uh, we have ISR, SR20, bottom mount, intercooler. We have the elbow turbo downpipe, S14, rear spats, Corvette Z51 calipers. All these safe people who didn't get a Z51 package and have the stock brakes and want real brakes. There you go. We have 400 Z wheels. We have TE37s off my BRZ that fit a, that are perfect spec for a BRZ. We have stock Supra Mark IV wheels, set of Toyos 265, literally like nearly brand new 265, 35, 18 Toyo R888s. This is the bumper from my BRZ. It has a Street Hunter lip attached to it and a Street Hunter front license plate delete as well. RX7 FD3S pop-ups with motors and the bucket frames and the headlights themselves. We have sets of stock mirrors for an FD. We have two pairs of that. We have stock tail lights. We have the feeders for the windshield washer and the coolants. We have the fender inserts, S13, SR20 downpipe, brand new inbox Z32 caliper, adjustable 370Z upper A arms, my stock Mark IV bumper, obviously, a plethora of Dietzworks products. We have a couple fuel pumps. We have 350s. Uh, there's a few different things. Dylan will be providing those, I'm sure. If you're interested in anything, you can DM him as well. Slightly scratched R8 headlight. If anyone has a GAD2 M4 and needs anything, I have the stock air boxes and we have some of the exhaust pieces. We have the engine cover, stuff like that. Um, I'm thinking about actually just like taking a couple of these, especially this M cover, maybe just like signing it and giving it away to one of you guys. I think that'd be really cool. Stock fenders for a BRZ. Calvin tried rolling them and cracked the paint. So it's a little damaged, but if anyone's gonna make a drift car or anything, it's a great little pickup. Stock hood for a BRZ. It is slightly damaged. This is Gen 2. I have two stock C8 front hoods, and I also have a stock FD RX7 hood as well, and a GT350 replica 1965 Mustang hood, if anyone's curious. Probably one of the best comps in this video if anyone's looking for a good price. This is original R Yamamiya sleek lights with the buckets, the original brackets, IPF headlights and the ballast setups. This is the exact setup I have on my RX-7. Um, these are the real deal. These are OEMs. These are not knockoffs. So this is a very cool pickup if anyone's looking for anything good. I also have a brand new inbox E90 M3 front left fender. I accidentally ordered two. So now I have an extra one. All right, you guys know what time it is. Well, you probably don't know what time it is. We just got back from the shop. Obviously we're back home. It's time to start taking out all of the Christmas stuff and I promised myself and Sabrina that today would be the day I put aside three to four hours to decorate the house for Christmas. This is something that I feel like all of us dudes out there, probably some of the girls out there actually might be more responsible. I feel like there's always like one person in the household, there's always one individual who's like responsible for taking care of all the Christmas stuff and that's ya boy. So to help with all of the Christmas stuff, we have Sabrina's parents coming over to help us decorate the tree. Because it is so big, it needs a lot of help. Present to you the best tree we've ever had in our whole entire life. How amazing does that look? This looks so good. It took me forever. Sabrina's mom, her grandma, and her dad helped decorate the tree. So shout out to the Lehman family. I appreciate you. I love you. You know what time it is, folks? It is vision board time. Now I'm gonna be adding something tonight that I'm very, very excited to share with you because I'm so passionate about it. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're like, Teej, what the heck? What the heck's a vision board? Well, every night during Vlogmas, which is our daily uploading throughout December, so if you're not coming back every day at 2.30, what are you doing? Come back at 2.30, watch the next video. Here I am! But throughout Vlogmas, we are adding uh, one thing to our vision board, which is a reminder, is uh, something that we can look at every day and work towards achieving, accomplishing, and just, even if it's like becoming the president, I don't know, like something that oh, like you're like, if? well, I mean, like something that's like feels literally in 
possible to accomplish. If it's something that you want in life, put it on your vision board and look at it every day and just manifest that. So a little recap, we have put on our vision board, hit 3 million subscribers. We also put my in my printer is running out of ink, so it doesn't look great. I highly suggest put color on your boards. Uh, look at this Christmas tree. I know I just showed them. They loved this it. This is the best tree we've ever had. That's what I said. Uh, I also put getting more family time. Night, we are going to be adding something we are all familiar with, and that is um, Street Hunter. Street Hunter to me um, is a company that I started three years ago that I decided everyone on the internet makes fun of me for doing wide bodies and bags on every build. And I almost got like ashamed of it to a certain point. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be ashamed of this. I literally love it. I, I love putting body kits on cars and completely transforming the way something looks. Like I was something I just really loved and I kind of found it was my own thing. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna take this energy of like people picking on me and whatever and I'm gonna channel it and I'm gonna make something great out of it. That's what started Street Hunter, and now um, it's a huge success, but I want it to be way even, I want it to be way bigger of a success. I want to have product lines for 15, 20 different cars. At the moment, we only have five, but we have a bunch of products for cars, but I specifically uh, just want to have, this is a bag of bolts for a steering wheel. I didn't want to print a black and white picture tonight, so I wanted to put some color on my board, so I'm just going to use this, but for Street Hunter, I, I envision it, I see no cap, I see no ceiling, I, I see no limitation. I see this company being worth a hundred million dollars one day. I swear to God, I really do. I really believe that this company will be worth a hundred million dollars. But I wanna put this on the board. I think one day a huge goal would be to, to have Street Hunter be partnered with like an OEM. Kind of for those that are familiar with Ford, you know how RTR is Ford, you know how Roush is Ford, how Dynan is the BMW. I hope one day Street Hunter comes factory on an OEM of some sort. I don't know how, and that's kind of the example of the vision board. Like, I don't even know what it is I'm really asking, but I just, I know I want it to be a huge success. I want it to be as big as it possibly can be. And I need a constant reminder that this is gonna be huge in the next five years. So. That's on my vision board tonight, add something. Some of you guys are getting way ahead. You guys are sending me photos on Instagram and you have your boards all lit up, which is awesome. But don't fill it up yet. We need to do it together. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you want anything for sale in any of that you saw today, be sure to DM Helm of Terror, that's Dylan's Instagram. And he's gonna be trying to monitor and, and trying to help all you guys out. If, if you guys are looking for anything specific, if not, we're just gonna put it out on the internet and it's gonna get sold one way or another. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, boys. Peace out. And ladies, speaking of boys and ladies, I'm gonna get a shout out to the last 10 or so orders on the Hunt & Company for the M3 giveaway. We have Ira Garcia, Riley Stice, Slane, Nah, Slane, Nah, am I saying that correctly? Colton King, Reese Byers, Matthew Joseph, Alejandro Paquecho, pa Paquecho? I don't know how to pronounce that name, my dude. I'm so sorry. Matthew Zimmer, Tyler Antolin, Joshua Normington, Grant Tribber, Kim Corset. Before I end this video, my camera's about to die. I said one of your guys' names that was a girl, and it, I was like, so and so ordered an XL t shirt, probably for her boyfriend, and she DM'd, I think, Sabrina or me, and was like, no, the XL's for me. I, I wear an XL shirt to bed as like a PJ set, and da 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 da, that, that wasn't for my boyfriend or whatever. I'm sorry, but I appreciate you for supporting the M3 giveaway. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to bed. Peace out, and keep moving forward.